But they were talking something about they felt they felt like their character was lifeless, and they want they wanted to figure out how to um, breathe more life into the character. And it felt like they were just being thrown into the deep end. And I asked them why why that makes them makes it feel lifeless. And they said an entire two chapters go by where he see, where he comes to terms with what happened and sets some long short term goals and yet I haven't managed to give him character because all the new stuff because of all the new stuff he finds himself in. I feel that if I describe the world and give him character that it would be a huge info dump. A competent writer could do a better job, but I find myself struggling with that. So the so I've actually um, looked at one of their pieces in the past, uh, a chapter of this story they're talking about. It starts with the main character is, I think, from our normal, the real world, and they get kind of sucked into this fantasy world, into the body of another person, and now they're controlling that body, and it's all weird, and they're like, they don't know where they are, and all this kind of stuff. They don't have a lot of kind of perspective stuff of the so the character doesn't really come through it just says like i'm in a forest and i need to get to such and such a village and i'm in this other body and stuff so my response was okay it comes down to show don't tell really how do we as humans figure out what kind of person someone is when we don't know them we observe their behavior their reactions to the world around them what we see or are shown. Do the same in your story by showing that stuff, and the reader will engage the same parts of the brain that they use when meeting someone new. It will, it will make the character feel more real and immerse the reader into the story better. That's how I view show don't tell and why I think it's such universal and powerful advice. Knowing who the character is, their personality, etc., is from how they react, what they do, how they interact with others, their behavior. So whatever they're doing in those chapters, that's who they are right now. Not their stats and data points and backstory. They were talking about um, it would require an info dump to just, here's who the character is and just tell them all the backstory and stuff. But you can do it through um, what they, do and how they interact and how they react and stuff. A backstory informs who they turned out to be in the present, but we don't need to know their backstory to know who they are in the present. Just as when we meet a new person in real life, we don't need to know their history to understand what they're like. Like Darth Vader. We don't have any backstory to Darth Vader, we just see him kill some good guys, we know he's a bad guy. We see him say certain things in a certain way and we get a sense of what his personality is like. We don't need to know his whole history and his stats and any info dump dumpy stuff to get a sense of who that character is in the present. Uh, regarding the chapter I gave feedback on, one way you can show more of his personality is to show more of that reaction, behavior, etc. Take more time to show his thoughts to show his thoughts and feelings about what is happening to him. What he thinks of being in the forest. Is he used to it? Is he awkward in the new place? Is it weird for him? Does he love it? Hate it? What does he think of getting caught on brambles or flies buzzing around him? Like if he, if his backstory that you've got in your outlining and world building is he lives in a, a city and takes the bus to school every day and things like that, then uh, he's not used to walking. He's not used to the um, all this outside stuff, the mud and dirt, bird poop on stuff that you might step into. He's wearing someone else's clothes that's like um, a fancy style peasant or something. So all those things would be very strange. So just show him reacting to that. And we don't need to know he's like where he lived in the real world. We just get a sense of that by him comparing it and him reacting to this other stuff. Uh, what he thinks about the guard, because he, inter he interacts with a guard when he finds the village. 
Um, he's from a different world, so is he aloof over the peasants with no tech? Is he worried he's going to die in the past? What's going on inside his head? So showing that kind of stuff, um, again, will hint to the reader um, what kind of character this is and what kind of backstory you might have without just dumping it and telling the reader that stuff. That, that's how you show this backstory. So you're not taking his stats and dumping them onto the page. You're showing how he reacts to things that are happening in the moment. And we get to know him by observing that, just as we do in everyday life. 